Hi everyone, Russell here again. So uh, today in this video, it's gonna be a little different than usual. So I just wrapped up hours and hours here in the desert in Arizona, uh, beating my talon to a level I didn't even think was possible. But we're gonna, in the video, we're gonna back up a little bit. I'm gonna throw in some footage from the day that I spent with shock therapy. We're gonna put some time-lapse videos in there of the installation and then uh, an interview with uh, Steve of Shock Therapy. So I will say, I mean, I just wrapped up uh, um, doing a video on some nasty whoops. Um, I did review the GoPro footage, but I'm still going to include, uh, include it in the video. But that video does not do justice for these whoops. We're talking two and three foot high whoops that, that I was cruising up to 40, 45 miles an hour through. Um, the footage doesn't look that rough, but uh, this new suspension that I have, I, I didn't imagine that it would ever be this this good. So, um, you know, I do have the dual rate springs. Um, I have the ride improvement system where they revalved all of the shocks and I have the IQS. So quick rundown, absolutely love the IQS after hours and hours of driving here. Um, I will do a more in depth video later, but uh, I mean, if I had to do it over again, I would go for the live valve, but of course when I bought this, it wasn't available. So, but the factory live valve against my setup, not even close. So if, if you do offer the live valve, uh, which I recommend, um, you have to do the, the dual rate springs and you have to do the revalving. So after hours in the, the desert today, um, I have finally eliminated the Honda bucking horse. So adding that spare tire to the rear is an absolute must. And then um, having your suspension retuned. So this IQS, absolutely amazing. But most importantly, the right improvement system with the revalving is absolutely crucial. So keep in mind, if you already had the dual rate springs before you added this spare tire, uh, you might run into the same issue I did where the upper tender springs or the upper spring or the, t you know, uh, also referred as the tender spring will have to be replaced on the top part of the shock. So uh, because that spare tire really changed the dynamics of this vehicle. So, you, I mean, I even had to adjust it uh, to where I placed it on the trailer. So um, it really changes a lot of things up. So. Um, I am running at about five, uh, 15 inches of ride clearance on the front and rear, fully loaded and with me in the vehicle. So there's some phenomenal ground clearance. Um, the other thing that, that I also opted for is the, the limiter straps, okay? Um, if you're leaving the ground a lot and frequently like I do, you're gonna get that suspension cl uh, clunking nonstop. So um, it was very refreshing. Um, hitting those whoops and flying through the air um, and not getting that loud banging noise. So you still get a little bit of the noise because of the, the limit straps doing their job, but it's a different noise. And uh, I think it's really going to save the life of your shocks if you wanna do some very, very aggressive driving. So we have uh, Steve here with Shock Therapy and he's taking time out of his day to answer some questions for me and uh, and I appreciate that. Thank you, Steve. No worries, man. And um, so my first question is for you, what options do you currently offer for the Honda Talon R and the X? And then what do each of these options do to my machine from a performance standpoint? 
Okay, so as far as the Talent X goes, right now we have valving and springs. Um, I'll hop to the Talent R real quick, and then basically what I go with the Talent R is gonna be the same for the X, uh, valving and spring-wise, okay? So as far as the Talent R goes, right now we have valving, springs, uh, you can go to dual speed adjusters, you can do IQS, you can do limit straps, you can do radius rods. Uh, a couple other things in the works, but nothing, nothing as of yet more than that, okay? Uh, what the valving and springs is gonna do, spring kit's gonna give you a little bit more ride height, okay? It's gonna get you that clearance that you need. It's also gonna help out with that bottom out resistance. Um, the valving is gonna give you that flushness you're also looking for. Swapping out the adjusters, going to a dual speed adjuster, um, it's gonna give you high speed and low speed compression. Okay, um, that's gonna help out again with bottom out, your choppy areas and, and you know, washboard, stuff like that. I know you live in Colorado, so I do a lot more rock stuff uh, out by you, so that'd be a great adjustment. Now, the IQS uh, is an amazing, amazing upgrade you can do, um, especially on the Talon. Uh, it definitely helps out with everything all around, and it is at the flip of a switch with your adjustments. So that makes it super easy. Um, it's also a lot better for the guy that is a set it and forget it type of guy. Um, a lot of people don't like to tinker with their suspension, uh, I know I like to tinker with it, but it is nice to have it right there on a switch on your dashboard. Okay, um, and then lastly, uh, or secondly, we do have uh, limit straps. Limit straps help out with the extension clunk. Um, it basically limits the travel by a half inch, uh, not really doing anything more than that, but it helps with that extension clunk, which is the seal head, uh, the valving hitting into that seal head. Okay, and that can sound really gnarly or not as gnarly as others. Um, and then radius rods, doing the radius rod upgrade um, is a great upgrade as opposed to the factory ones. Um, it's a lot more durable and uh, gives you a lot beefier of a look, um, but also makes it, uh, like I said, a lot more durable. So with the IQS system, um, there's three settings on it. Can you kind of just give us a brief rundown on uh, what settings we should use uh, while driving? Okay, so uh, you get your three settings. It's gonna be uh, soft, medium, hard, or comfort, uh, medium, firm. Uh, most of the time I'd keep it in comfort. Uh, stay, stay soft, give that plush ride. Um, when you wanna change it again, is gonna be depending on the rider. I've had people that don't ever take it out of comfort or they do move it, but uh, leave it in comfort most of the time start getting a little more aggressive, going through the whoops, going into corners, anything like that, uh, put it into to medium. And then uh, what's cool is you keep it in soft, going through, come up on a big G out, hit it into firm, you'll never feel it. Uh, it just goes right through it as if, uh, as if it isn't there. So it's very cool to have that switch because you can change it super quick. Uh, it is at the flip of a switch. So depending on what type of riding style you're doing is gonna depend on where you wanna be at, but leaving it in comfort is gonna be awesome. Uh, cornering, anything more aggressive, going to medium, and then something gnarly like a G out or jump in uh, on the landing, you're probably going to want it firm. So, Steve, after looking over my Honda Talon, is there anything uh, you see that you like, or do you have any recommendations to, to make it better? So as far, as far as looking at it, man, uh, it's a pretty bitchin' setup. Um, making it better, the stuff that you're gonna be having done, I think is already gonna make it better. Uh, not much more I would add than what you're doing. Uh, I will say uh, that this spare tire mount that you did is pretty bitchin' though. Um, I will point that out. This is really, really cool. Uh, I like the, the, the look of it. I like how it just goes right into that wing nut, turn the wing nut on, uh, and it's even cooler that you did it. So I do like that, uh, but there's nothing other than what you're doing that I would change on this vehicle. Um, so what you're gonna get is a pitch and setup. So perfect, so what we're doing today is, um, I already have the dual raised springs. Yep. Um, we're going to do some uh, internal work, so if you wanna tell us about that, and then so, you're going to install the IQS. Yep, so today, uh, what you've got going on, you got the, the Fox IQS, uh, which is the intelligent quick switch. You get the ride improvement system, which is the valving. Um, then you're gonna do rebuilds, there's gonna be fresh seals, fresh oil all the way around the car, make sure everything's good. Um, 
what we've got here, the one thing I would recommend is going to be limit straps. Um, limit straps on the front are definitely going to help out with that extension clunk like we talked about. Um, so that's one thing looking at it and what you are doing. That is one thing I would add is possibly doing limit straps. Um, but the IQS system, man, uh, that's that flip of the switch, uh, changing your adjuster. Um, and then the ride improvement system, that's to give you that plushness. You've already got the spring kit, so you already know what difference that made. Um, so having that valving is going to make a hell of a difference on uh, what you've got. Well, the dual ray spring kit already made a huge difference. So um, I, I can't even imagine what the rest is going to do. So. Night, night and day. It's going to be a night and day difference for you. So one thing I changed to the spare tire mount is I added um, these two bars. So um, just for extra support um, on the downforce. So this is what it looks like from the side. They're just coming up at an angle and hooking to the bottom of the one and three quarter inch pipe there. So added two of those, I think it's gonna be a lot more stable in the long run. So we have Steve here and, and uh, he's going to answer a few questions for us. So if you're interested in the Fox IQS system, he's going to do a brief uh, overview with us. So he's going to show us what's in the box, briefly what it does and what it takes to install it. Okay. What's going on guys? So uh, for the Fox IQS, man, uh, it's a pretty cool kit. Pretty simple installation too. Uh, takes a couple hours depending on the vehicle. Okay. Um, on the Honda Talon itself, the one thing you are going to need is an XTC power product harness because the Honda Talon does not have a bus bar. So this does add a bus bar to the system itself, okay? So this is one thing you will need in addition to your Fox IQS kit, okay? So you're gonna have that. But what the kit comes with is gonna be four adjusters, okay? It's gonna have a wiring harness uh, and it's gonna have your, uh, basically your new ECU that goes in there, okay? Inside of here is the installation instructions for a Can-Am. Uh, we are working on getting the installations out for the Honda Talon and for all the other cars that we do offer IQS on. Um, as of right now, it just comes for the Can-Am instruction wise, but we can pretty much do it on every car uh, with a Fox, uh, Fox shock. Uh, working on some newer stuff uh, for 2.0 shocks, but anything with a 2.5 and a 3.0 shock, we can do it. Um, but as far as what the kit comes with, like I said, it comes with a brand new wiring harness. With all your plugs, your plugs adapt to it. You have that plug. They'll adapt to this plug here. And that is where the magic is at, right in here. It's black smoke. Hamsters and wheels and everything inside here. So there's going to be a switch inside, which we already have. Correct. Uh, wiring going to all four corners yep. and hooking into this. So what exactly is this going to do for us? This is going to be your uh, basically uh, three position switch, but at the switch of a button. Okay. If you go inside the car chase, if you go around there. So basically what you're doing as you're going out and riding, we have our switch right here. You're going to be in soft, which is basically your comfort mode. Okay, it's going to be the, the softest setting. Um, switch it into medium, gets a little stiffer, firm, obviously the stiffest, stiffest selection. But you're basically turning in your three position adjuster. You're leaving it at that three position adjustment, but you're able to adjust it at your, basically the touch of a button. Um, we're working on other, other places too, maybe a steering wheel, uh, steering wheel clicker stuff like that uh, very early in the works but we are working on other things to make it better and to where you can have it in a more convenient spot so can you give me kind of a quick rundown on, on what you've done um, you know earlier today we talked about the limit strap and, mm -hmm. and after going over that over that I thought this is something we definitely have to have yeah. so can you just kind of give us a quick rundown on what you did to the shock itself yep and uh, and just some of the uh, changes we can expect. Okay, so as far as the shock itself, you already had the spring kit, so you gotta know that difference, okay? That makes a night and day difference from stock. Mm -hmm. um, now what we did is we gave you another night and day because we added the valving, okay? The valving is gonna definitely plushen up your ride. Um, you already know what the spring kit does. It adds just more to that, okay? Um, we also did rebuilds, fresh seals, fresh oil. Uh, your car, you said had about 4,000 miles on it, just, yes. just about 4,000. Um, 
the shocks look great. <laughs> the, the shocks look great for 4,000 miles. Um, we did throw fresh seals, fresh oil in there. Um, so it's, it's going to be a brand new machine already. Those you were a little were... you were a little low on nitrogen. Okay. But uh, 200 pounds of nitrogen, all four corners. That's per factory Fox, uh, what we run in there. Um, so you were a little low there, so you should notice a tremendous difference with the, the valving uh, and the fresh oil and everything that goes inside of that. Perfect. And then as far as the limit strap goes, um, the limit strap, you were talking about this morning how you heard, you heard noise in the front end. It's a clunk. It's called extension clunk. Um, having a limit strap kit basically takes away that extension clunk because we're limiting the travel uh, at extension by like a quarter to a half inch. Um, so you're not limiting anything that your shot can do. Um, you're just choking it up a little bit so you don't hear that slam of that seal head going into the actual cap. And that was frequently happening, especially on rock crawling where you'd be going along and um, all of a sudden your tire was off of a rock and just dangling in the air. It would just be like, bam, you would kind of hear that that noise. And yeah. so I, I think this will really, really help. It's going to help out, help out a lot. Um, you're going to notice, like I said, it's going to be a night and day difference what you got. You're going to basically have to relearn this vehicle. Um, it's it's going to treat you completely different, but it's going to make you a better rider, and uh, you're going to love it, man. And, and so as far as the internals, so you went through, we did the ride, ride improvement system. Yep. So you did some revalving. Can you briefly kind of describe to us um, what you did on the inside of the shop? So as far as the valving goes, that is the, that is the secret sauce, so we can't go too far into that. Um, but with the valving itself, um, you're going to notice a hell of a difference in the shocks, um, in the plushness side. It's going to help out with your bump stage two and bottom out resistance. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, I really appreciate you taking the time to hang out with me and explain everything in detail and and to everybody else. I mean, yeah. I mean, you're the professional. You know everything about this. So um, I appreciate you helping me get the information out to everybody else with the Honda Talon. And, and we'll turn this Honda Talon into a, more of a competitor from a suspension standpoint. So, I mean, it's... Thank you very much, Steve. I really awesome, appreciate man. It. Yeah, of course. And thank you so much for your service. Yeah, thank I appreciate you. Appreciate it. Yep. And Chase has been awesome, even though he gets bad reps all the time. Hashtag just, no chase. Chase has really helped me out today. He's been cool. He's been patient. I've been hounding him. And he's and and uh, thanks a lot, Chase. I really appreciate it, man. You're the best. All day. <laughs> Get this guy out of here. <laughs> also, I just wanted to uh, take a moment to uh, talk about shock therapy. Um, I wanted to go down and, and, you know, gather some information and provide it to everybody on my channel. And they were um, completely um, willing to, to do whatever to help with that. Uh, you know, J Chase bent over backwards to help me out. Uh, Steve, um, a bunch of people in the office and, and in the back of the shop, they were just great. Um, some other things I noticed is, I mean, they're the number one suspension tuner in the world, hands down. Extremely friendly, customer service oriented, um, extremely knowledgeable, but most importantly, they stand behind their product. So if you're, you know, let's say a minute percentage of their customers that actually have an issue with their product, um, they stand behind it. And uh, I mean, you know, I've had four or five months of frustration after spending $6,000 where there's zero customer service or really zero care. So that makes me appreciate shock therapy, their products, and the way that they run their business even more. So I highly recommend shock therapy, nothing but good experiences with them, true professionals, uh, very reputable uh, company. And uh, if you want to you know, take your machine to the next level, shock therapy is going to be the place to go. So as you're watching this, I just want you to be aware that um, all of the items I'm talking about, I paid full price for. Um, there's zero financial um, influence on my review. Um, from day one, I've always uh, said that I'm going to make a completely honest uh, channel. I'm not going to sell out to anybody. Um, I'm not going to give reviews to get free products or anything along those lines. This is just a small time nobody giving you my honest opinion. So earlier in the video, you heard from the professionals. Um, you know, Steve is one of the, the, the uh, top people in the world when it comes to this stuff. So I'm, I'm, I really respect their opinion. And so now I just want to give you my opinion. So I know some of the content was kind of repeated throughout the video and uh, that's my fault, sorry. Um, I just want to make sure nothing was left out. So um, 
I, I just want to go over a few things uh, because, you know, everybody has a different budget, uh, writing style, wants, needs, desires. So I just want to go over each thing and give you my opinion to help you make the best decision. Okay. Do I love everything I did? Absolutely. But you know, might not need or want or uh, want to spend that much money. So I'll just go over everything in detail. So the first thing, if you want to eliminate bucking or nose diving during jumping, you have to put that spare tire on the rear. So like any adjustment you make, there's always pros and cons. So um, the first disadvantage to that is, you know, if you're into hill climbing or doing something ultra steep, you have to relearn your vehicle. So you might be able to fly up something um, before the rear spare tire, and now it's just changed the dynamics of your vehicle. So now the front tires might come off the ground. So take that into consideration. I don't want anybody getting into accidents. So, okay, the, the next thing is the dual rate springs. Okay, um, absolute must have. You know, just make sure that if you're going to do these things, do it in the right order. So before you do any suspension tuning, obviously you want to put the spare tire on there because it changes the dynamics on everything. So the, the dual rate springs, I've had that, I don't know, six or eight months. I don't remember exactly when I put them on. Uh, makes a large difference. I mean, reduces the bucking a little bit. Um, gives you a much smoother ride. Um, jumps a little bit better, but it wasn't quite the improvement I was looking for. And just springs, I mean, it's not capable of eliminates, eliminating such a de design flaw that the Honda had. So um, I would put the spare tire on and then go for the dual rate springs. Next thing, the, the ride improvement system. Basically where they take your shock apart and, and uh, um, do some valving and, and basically fix the factory flaws. Okay, that's, that's going to, to make the, huge, the biggest difference. Okay, so if you do the dual rate springs and, and the uh, valving, um, you're going to have a near, near perfect suspension. So if you want to save a little bit of money, do those two things and you're going to be just about at the level that I am. Okay, um, so with, with, with those two things in the rear spare tire, um, you're going to eliminate the rear bucking and you're going to eliminate the nose diving on jumping. So right there, uh, you're going to have a near perfect vehicle with those two upgrades. Okay, so the IQS system, um, I absolutely love it. So if you're going to do any type of high speeds, uh, different terrains uh, frequently throughout the day, um, any type of racing, uh, competition, uh, driving, you absolutely have to have the IQS system because it gives you the ability to adjust things on the fly so you don't have to alter or slow down your speed uh, for different type of terrains in a competitive standpoint. So there, I absolutely love it. Um, the disadvantage uh, to the IQS is there's just one setting for all four shocks. So previously, um, if I was going to do some hill climbing, um, I would put uh, my rear suspension on stiff, leave the front on soft, and that would give me uh, more stability going up the hill. Or the opposite, going downhill, put the front, you know, down down steep hills, I would put the sus front suspension on stiff. So, or, or even going around some nasty side hill stuff. If I was creeping along around the side, I'd put my, my lower side on stiff and leave my upper side on soft. So, so this kind of eliminates some of the adjustability for those scenarios. But uh, so this is where you kind of have to do some evaluation. Hey, what, what is most important to you? Um, for me, I love the system, but, you know, you're looking at about around $2,100 for it. So throughout the last year, I've had a ton of requests for more driving footage. Um, so I have purchased uh, camera equipment, uh, even a drone to kind of uh, get some higher quality uh, driving footage. So. And the reason I'm doing that is because there's not a lot more upgrades I can do to the Honda Talon. So now I'm just going to uh, to drive it a lot. And now that I've had the suspension flaw worked out, um, I can do some more driving. So once I get the, the turbo issue resolved, you know, this is like four or five months going on, um, then I'll have an ideal machine. So something I'm doing later this month is uh, I will be driving from Mexico along the Continental Divide to Canada. It's going to be approximately 2,700 miles. Um, I'm traveling with my 14-year-old daughter, so we're going to, to make a lot of video footage, uh, use the drone, 
and uh, kind of produce a bunch of videos. So to my knowledge, I'll be the first one in a side-by-side -side to do that trip. Um, if you're at all interested, tune in. Um, if you enjoy the content, maybe please consider subscribing. And uh, of course, if you have any questions, so, you know, I try to answer everything, um, just let me know. So thank you for watching. Um, uh, I believe this is my 63rd or 64th video. And uh, hopefully we'll see you next time.